Hello friends, welcome back to Learnity Guide Tutorials. First of all, thanks for watching this video. In this session, I am going to explain you about Python. Topics involved in this session are What is Python? Why should we learn Python? Different versions of Python Integrated Development Environment that is IDE for Python and we call that as IDEAL. And finally, we will see how to install Python and IDEAL on Linux. Keep watching the video till the end. In the upcoming session, we will show you how to write a program with examples and also will show you how to play with the data types and condition statements. If you feel something I have missed or you want to do more about something else, please leave your comments in the comment section and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Links related to this session are mentioned in the descriptions. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better from basics. And you are watching LanityGuide.net tutorials. We provide you 100% free documents and tutorial videos to build your skills. For more updates stay connected with us on social networking sites and subscribe our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com and search for LanityGuide tutorials. Hit subscribe button to not miss any updates. Click nearby bell icon to get notification immediately. What is Python? Python is an open source, object oriented and high level programming language. Python is so simple, easy to learn, its syntax emphasizes readability and therefore reduces the cost of program maintenance. Python supports modules and packages which encourages program modularity and code to reuse. Python is a general purpose language which means it can be used to build just about anything which will be made easy with the right tools and libraries. Python is a great for backend web development, data analysis, artificial intelligence and scientific computing. Many developers have also used Python to build productivity tools, 3D modeling, games and desktop applications. So there are plenty of resources to help you learn how to do those as well. What should we learn Python? Beginner friendliness. Python was designed to be easy to understand and fun to use. So you will be able to build prototypes and tools quickly with Python. Many finds coding in Python a satisfying experience. Thus. The Python has gained popularity for being a beginner friendly language and it has replaced the Java as the most popular language and easy to understand. As I told you before, Python is so simple also a very high level language and Python handles a lot of complexity for you. So it's very beginner friendly in that it allows beginners to focus on learning programming concepts and not have to worry about too much in details. It's very flexible. Python is really flexible. This means there are no hard rules on how to build features and you will have more flexibility solving problems using different methods. Career opportunities. Python is the second most demanded skill and also the skill with the highest average salary offered because with the race of big data and DevOps, Python developed are in demand as data scientists, especially since Python can be easily integrated into web applications to carry out tasks that require machine learning. And community, it has a larger community. When you step into the programming world, you will be soon understand the importance of community. As the developer community is all about giving and receive helps from others. The larger a community, the more likely you would get help and the more people will be building useful tools to ease the process of development. Future Python is the fourth most popular language. As an open source project, Python is actively worked on with a moderate update cycle pushing out new versions every year also to make sure it remains relevant. Also, with the race of Ruby on Rails and more recently Node.js, Python's usage as a more as a main prototyping language for backend web development. Python has become a skill that is more in demand than ever. 
different versions of python so there are two versions currently available which is 2.x and 3.x python 2x is legacy one and it's stable python 3x is the present and future of the language but there is a very limited third party module support in 3.x since it's a new so all major frameworks still runs on python 2 and will continue to do so for a significant time some of the things in the scripts won't be able to run on both the versions at the same time so use the right one for your need so you'll be fine and if you are a learner then no matter whatever you use integrated development environment for python ide for python that is ideal here Ideal is an integrated development environment for Python and it is built with the Tkinter GUI toolkit. And it has many features like it's coded in 100% pure Python using the Tkinter GUI toolkit and also cross platforms. It works on Windows and Unix. Also multi window text editor with multiple operations like undo redo everything also it has python colorizing and many other features like smart intent and call tips it has python shell window also known as interactive interpreter and debugger not complete but you can set some breakpoints view and steps so these are the some basics of python and we'll see how to install python and ideal on linux and how to write some basic programs so this is my terminal and let's see how to access python so python is a utility just hit enter it will take you to the python shell and here the version i have is python 2.7.5 and you have the general information about python this is the prompt in python to exit from this python just press ctrl t that will exit from your python shell and this is i have taken from terminal and let's search for ideal m search ideal so this is a integrated development environment for python and it has many functionalities and many functions to perform using that ide so here the package is python hyphen tools when you install this package you will get the ideal Once this python tools package is installed then the command you have to use to take IDE is ideal. Once you have hit enter then it will open a new window that is an interactive window for IDE of python. That is similar to your editors where you can find and replace any strings from your programs. 
and you can compile you can run you can debug and you can open any existing programs of pythons and you can get help and you can get the documents of pythons and you have many features along with IDE and same way if you want to install python just m install space python and hit enter the python will be get installed by default on linux python is installed because rglc7 and centos 7 has number of packages are dependent on python hence the python package being installed automatically during the os installations how did you feel is it helpful Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below, hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.